We may have already reviewed Samsung's latest smartphone, but now it's headed to the US. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So this is the device we all have been waiting for. Um, it is a follow-up to the original Galaxy Note and, of course, the Galaxy Note 2, both of which were surprisingly very, very popular phones. Um, but without too much delay, let's get into this box and see what it's about because the box itself obviously is very, very boring. Not a lot going on out here. So let's open this up. Of course, on top we've got our quick start guide, which is great because there's a lot to know about this phone. There's so many features. Uh, so that's good. We probably don't care about that. Uh, we'll set the phone to the side for a very short moment while we look underneath. Um, and here we've got a health and safety warranty guide, of course something else we really don't care that much about. This is not your standard micro USB, but USB 3.0. So you've got an additional port there. If we can get a little focus on it really quickly. So it's big, ugly. Some people say it's not necessary like our own Joe Levi. Um, we'll see in the future. It might be very, very useful later on. Not so much right now, um, mainly because most of our computers don't even have USB 3.0. Um, so your wall adapter <coughs> and this which I imagine these are spare tips for your S Pen. So, that's all there is in the box. No headphones, nothing too fancy. Uh, let's move this to the side and take a look at the phone because that's what we really care about, right? Um, it can wait, texting and driving. Yes, it can. Uh, if you have to, go to New York and do one of those little pull-off things that they're going to build <laughs> that no one's ever going to use. So here is the device. It's definitely a major upgrade, at least in design and hardware, from the Galaxy Note 2. They've traded the hyperglaze finish back with a faux leather, and it's still plastic. There's no doubt about that. It's still the same flimsy plastic as before, but it definitely feels nicer. And that's really what we were complaining about before. The slick hyperglaze finish made it feel very cheap, I guess. Um, so 3200 milliamp hour battery inside here. You've got your uh, micro SIM with your micro SD card slot at atop that. So it's one of those designs where the SD card sits right above your SIM. Let's get this popped back on. And of course, this is a 13 megapixel camera around back. Um, your S Pen has been changed. It's now square and it can go in either way. There is no problem with that. It goes in either way, which is awesome. Definitely an awesome upgrade. Your USB 3.0 slot. So yes, it's big and we don't know exactly what we're gonna use it for yet. Your loudspeaker is also on the bottom edge, power button on the right edge, volume rocker on the left, so same thing, works either way. Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and an IR blaster up top, and of course, the most important thing, your 5.7 inch 1080p uh, Super AMOLED display. Michael said it was gorgeous, I take his word for it and I can't wait to see it myself in person because this is the first time I've touched a Note 3. Um, inside we have a Snapdragon 800 and you might be asking why are we reviewing this again and that's because this is the US model. Michael reviewed the international model with the Okta inside. We have the Snapdragon 800 model for AT&T so it's got the Snapdragon 800. This one I imagine has 16 gigabytes and it has 3 gigabytes of RAM. So we're definitely looking forward to see how this thing does. Um, not sure if we're going to pay much attention to benchmarks but other than that, we look forward to seeing how this phone stacks up. Um, is it better? Is it the same as the international model? And is it better than the competition? So stay tuned to Pocket Now for more on this phone, some comparisons, and the full review for the AT&T US model. Um, so stay tuned for that, and we will see you very soon.